Hello there, and welcome aboard another episode of Rule the Waves 2 is Great Britain. Uh, I am re-recording this after our last attempt of recording turned out with uh, severely corrupted audio, so uh, forgive me if I have a little bit of pre-alertment to the events of today. But uh, furthermore, uh, my internet is down right now, which means I don't know if this episode will be going live anytime soon. Uh, certainly, probably not when it is supposed to be, given that we are right now 30 minutes away from when the episode is supposed to go live. And yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. But more importantly than that, uh, with no internet, that means I cannot play any of my music, which means I am a very grumpy admiral indeed. So, I am definitely taking out my frustration on these poor Russians. I don't think they stand much of a chance. All right, uh, now that, that introduction is out of the way, let's actually get this uh, battle underway. So, when last we left off, the Russian scout force and, or correction, the Russian invasion force and their main paddle force had been crushed. We can see the broken remains of their ships over here. Uh, we are currently uh, attempting to track down and pursue their remaining uh, carrier force, which we have currently encountered right over here. I don't think things are going to go very well for them. Excuse me. All right, uh, taking a look at things, we have multiple carriers in sight. Uh, we did have a few of our strikes reach them last episode, but most of our strikes are still on their way over. Uh, also, my battlecruiser force is running low on ammunition, so that's not great. And also I have a random cruiser all the way over here, so let's uh, let's turn her around and start bringing her back and put her in a more useful position. I think we can also safely accelerate the uh, battleship force here, bring them up to speed, and... Last I checked, the impassable was not doing great. She's on fire. We do still have a few secondaries left. And we do still have some main ammunition left, but not a whole lot. How are the remaining ships doing? Okay, still got some secondaries there. What about imponderable? Ugh, imponderable is almost completely out. Oh my. Let's see, what kind of targets do we have? Hmm. Whatever it is, it's not good. All right, I'm gonna reduce speed to cruising, try and buy some time to fight those fires. I'm gonna shift my course down to the southwest so we can block their retreat to the south and try and sandwich them between the battleships and the battlecruiser force. I know the battlecruiser force isn't uh, very likely to be able to target stuff, but I'm still going to try. All right, our primary target is indeed the heavy cruisers, so that's good. All right, we do want to focus our fire on that. I'm going to cancel the flotilla attack order, see if we can try to reassemble our destroyer force here, because night is coming. And we're going to need some properly formed up destroyers. I'm also going to try and tell the carriers, all of our carriers, to head closer to the scene. And if we are lucky, they might actually be able to launch off another follow-on strike or two. Speaking of which, let's take a quick review there. Do we have any ships? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, we've got some dive bombers here off of the Manticore. So I'm going to grab these, priority target, uh, carriers, target location. I'm going to plunk that down somewhere over here. And I'm going to tell them to launch that right off. Ooh, heavy load. Uh, yes, I want heavy load. There we go. Let's see what else we have. Uh, okay, nothing significant left on carrier division 6. What about carrier division 10? Those guys are also looking pretty cleared out. Well, I guess that's all we got. We're going to send off that last strike, and hopefully they can hit something useful. 
Okay, moving along. Do I want to pick up survivors from the Kukri? Um, yes, we are going to send people off to pick up those survivors. Real quick, let's take a moment to clear up all of these reports. Hang on, don't particularly care about that. Let's see, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't care about any of these. All of these old reports we can start clearing out. Yep, that one can also go because it is very much no longer relevant. Keep going. Well, that one is also no longer relevant. They're not there anymore. Uh, that one is actually relevant, though, so we're going to keep that. Let's delete all of those reports and... Uh -huh. All right, there are still two in the general area. Let's see if we can pick those out. Okay, so that one can go. And that one can go. And then what was this one? One destroyer, that one, yep. That one can go as well. Those are the random few survivors from the slaughter over here. I have no intention of chasing them down. Okay, back to our battle log, and let's move right along. There we go. Opening fire, impassable fire spreads. Uh, up to level two, that's not good. Come on, man, get it under control. Oh, here we go. Bristol both is approaching enemy ships. And I do believe, yep, here we go. Bolton Paul Bisley's approaching enemy ships. Fantastic. And hopefully we can get some good shots on these fellows. All right, four torpedo bombers going after unidentified ship. I believe that is something significant. We'll see, 20 ever Whitley's, no hits from torpedo bombers. Dive bombers going in, no hits. Torpedo bombers going in, no hits. 20 more Bolton Paul Bisleys, okay. And we got the Tbilisi class with a torpedo. All right, that was our first significant hit. Ooh, AA crews take losses from strafing. Huh, neat. And we have a bomb hit on one of their carriers. Fantastic. And torpedo bombers going after the Tbilisi, which they have somehow decided is a Corvette. Somehow I don't believe that. Okay, keep going. We've got some air combat. Well, whatever it was. The Baku takes a bomb hit. Good. Torpedo bombers going in after the Eitel. But I'm not too worried about that. She's already sinking. Wow, I can't even hit a basically stationary target. But we can can dive bomb a cruiser. Nice shooting. Two hits. Five torpedo bombers going after that, whatever it is. One. One torpedo hit. Nice. And we've got more torpedo bombers going in as well. They're going after the heavy cruiser with dive bombs, no hits. Three dive bombers going after, pretty sure that's another heavy cruiser, no hits. And torpedo bombers going after probably a heavy cruiser, no hits. Wait, wait, there we go, two hits. Oh, two different ships, nice. Dive bombing, another hit on the ITIL class, good shooting prefer if you guys could target something a little bit more relevant though. 19 more B Bristol both is approaching enemy ships. Good. Let's continue heading a little bit more to the west because it looks like the enemy is fleeing in that direction. 
20 Avro Whitley's. Okay. Why is everyone focusing fire on the idle class? It's already burning and sinking. I wish I could specify secondary gun targets in addition to the main targets. Main target is nice, but I would, you know, kind of like to be able to tell them not to waste all of their secondary fire on this idol. We've got a destroyer and a heavy cruiser that also needs some attention. More aircraft approaching the enemy. Good. Ooh, and we've got more bomb hits on the Tbilisi. Fantastic. Yeah, and a torpedo too. Good shooting. And we have dive bombers missing the Yerevan. How are you guys missing? She's stationary. At least very close to it. All right, torpedo bomber is going after the heavy cruiser. Good. And we've got another dive bomb hit. Good shooting. And heavy cruiser as well. Although no hit. Oh wait, th that's to torpedo bombers. Okay. More planes approaching. No torpedo hits so far. Wow, these guys are terrible shots. Seeing a lot more misses this time through than last time. Oh, man. All right. Well, we still got a hit on the Yerevan. I'm quite confident that this ship is already in trouble and probably sinking. And we got more dive bombers going after the Eitel. How are they unable to identify it? And we got a Marshal Voroshilov. No, no, wait. Torpedo bombers, okay, never mind. And then we have more dive bomb hits on the Tbilisi. Oh, and we have a few shots at a CVL. Nice. And we've got a hit. Fantastic. How are these guys doing? Hang on, let's see how our radar is doing. Uh, still nothing. Inconsiderable is out of main ammunition. She has fired every last shell. And every last secondary as well. Okay, so she is no longer useful. How's the impassable doing? Does she have a target? Yeah, she's got a target. Why is our hit chance so poor? Oh, small salvo, okay. Target aspect ratio, target turning, loose formation, under fire, firing ship damage. Yeah, she is pretty well shot up, so. <sighs> okay, I think it is time to uh... Oh man, this is a tough decision. I want the impassable to get that fire out. But I also need her on the line to deal with that Marshal Voroshilov. Well, let's do it. We're going to detach her. I am going to take manual control. We're going to reduce speed. Six knots seems good. Cease fire and turn away and then we can get these fellows back up to flank speed and maybe they can circle around and block the enemy's retreat why are they still trying to launch search planes from the behemoth yeah i'll let it but as a review main force should not be oh hang on no search Review this one as well. Yeah, no search. Okay. And carrier force also, no search. Okay. So they should not be attempting to launch any scout planes. I told them not to launch last time, but they forgot. 
and I don't know why. More dive bombers going in. More torpedo bombers, and we are not getting any hits. Well, there's at least one hit. Probably on the battle cruiser. Capital launch search float planes from the Iron Duke. Yes. They shouldn't be attempting to launch anything, but if they're insisting, I'd rather launch float planes than actual strike craft. Speaking of strike craft, let's do a quick review here. Now hold on a minute. Didn't I tell you guys to launch? Oh, hang on. No, no, no. These are torpedo bombers that have been recovered. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we're going to grab these. We're going to set their destination over uh, this way. And we're going to launch those right off. Yep, dusk is okay. Let's see, do we have anything on the glorious... Nine dive bombers, eh, not great. How about this group? Carry Division 6 has one flight of 15 ready. Well, that may work out. Yeah, let's do it. Carry Division 10, nothing back yet. Okay. Okay, looks good to me. Back to our log and keep rolling. Uh oh, inconsiderable got hit. Oh no. Well, at least she doesn't have, at least all of her gun crews have nothing to do but fight the fire. And we do not have a whole lot of ammunition left on the Imponderable either. So she is not doing a whole lot. Looks like Impassable is getting things under control. So that's good. Okay. Adjusting final position? Yes. Let's put it further over this way. Because they are retreating in that direction. <sighs> More dive bombers on the Marshal Voroshilov. Here we go. Good. Good shooting. We got two more hits. Okay. Keep going. Three dive bombers going after Corvette. Baku. And they miss. How on earth? Oh, it's still up speed. Okay. Oh, hang on. Inconsiderable hit by torpedo. What? Well, at least the damage isn't bad, but she's reduced in speed. Okay, uh, I guess it's time to detach her. So we're going to take manual control over that. Reduce speed to 8 knots. We're going to turn her right around. And the impassable can start heading back this way. Three more dive bombers going in, and again they miss. Okay, we got a hit on the idle class. Good. And we're dive bombing the Baku. And we got another hit. Good shooting. She's still moving pretty quickly, though. Five torpedo bombers on the enemy destroyer. I don't think that's a destroyer. Six more dive bombers on the Tbilisi with two hits. Why are they still trying to launch search float planes? I told them not to. This is so annoying. 20 Avra Whitley's.
Oh. What was that? Uh, okay, decent spread of targets here. Oh, and we got some hits. One, two. Two hits on the one over here and one over this way. Okay, pretty good. And more torpedo bombers going in. And we have two more torpedo hits on two different ships. Yeah, not bad. Okay, and if we're lucky, all right, looks like our capital ships have opened fire on the Marshal Voroshilovs, so that's good. Tbilisi hit by a torpedo, good. That should have her pretty well stopped and sinking. And we've got more torpedo bombers going after her. And they miss. More of them. Going after the Baku, that's good. And they miss. And somehow they miss the Tbilisi, even though she's stationary. Oh, hang on. Was that fires up to a level three? That was. Oh, man. What on earth are you guys doing? Get that thing under control. Okay, we're going to keep on rolling for right now. I do like the fact that we're getting hits. I am seeing reports of low ammunition, but 50%, that's fine. We're still very much capable of continuing. Do we want to adjust the final strike location? Yeah, we're going to push it just a little bit further out. And I suspect they are heading to the south as well, so we'll put that over there. Come on. Let me select my imponderable. There we go. Whew. Okay. And we'll start turning the imponderable to the west. Try and scout out where the main enemy fleet is. Okay, we're reporting low ammunition. Well, that's fine. As long as we're still able to continue pursuing. What are you guys targeting? Baku is still running pretty well. Tbilisi is on fire and essentially stopped. And why are they concentrating fire on the Marshal Voroshilov that is stopped? Let's try and go after the other Marshal Voroshilov. So let's set our target to that one. Okay. There we go. They've shifted their fire. Do we want to just final strike location? Yes. We're going to push that over just a little bit further to the southwest. And keep going. Ooh, torpedoes away from our destroyers going in. It does look like our destroyers are going in. Uh, I do think, however, that we should be worrying a little bit more about our cruisers. So let's see if... Oh, come on. Let's see if we can take these cruisers... These ones. Status. Manual control. Squad max. And we're going to form these fellows up. Line ahead. And we're going to start sending them over this way. See what we can find. And they're running low on ammunition. Turn the Dakar south. Maybe she'll be able to get back in time for the sunset, which is coming up soon. So that is very much a relevant concern. Ooh. Kubishev class. 
I didn't even see that thing, but it looks like it's been battered into submission by airstrikes. And I see torpedoes headed the direction of the Tbilisi and Marshal Voroshilov. Not the best torpedo shots there at such extreme range, but we'll take it. In fact, some of those are actually looking decent. Okay, Tbilisi takes a torpedo hit and immediately goes under. Nice. Not a concern anymore. Katana is running low on ammunition. That's fine. Or low on secondary ammunition. That is fine. Keep on running here. Looks like they've got those destroyers under control for now. Those are a threat, but I don't think they're a significant... Oh, hang on, hang on. Is that a battle cruiser? What is a battle cruiser doing down here? All right, impassable. Ooh, that's that's really bad. Let's uh, let's bring you to a stop and see if we can close in a little bit more on that battle cruiser. Whatever that is. Select a target. Oh, they can't see it. Okay. But that is their battle cruiser, all right. Hang on. I don't want the carriers going that way. I want the battleships going that way. Okay, and yes, the battleships are firing at the correct thing. Yeah. That's what I want to see. Yeah, Kinburn class confirmed. Okay, 18 Bristol both is approaching enemy ships. Don't know which ships, but I'll take it. And hopefully we start seeing some hits on the Kinburn. Four torpedo bombers going after the Kinburn. Good. She is reporting heavy damage. And there we go. We've got a torpedo hit from the uh, first strike. Three more torpedo bombers going after the Kubishev. Let's see what we have up to the north here. And how's Impassable doing? Get that fire under control. Well, looks like they all three of them were able to hit the stationary target. So that's good, I suppose. I would prefer if you would put your secondary fire on something else, but okay. Oh, wrong thing. I was trying to pull up the... There we go. I want... You to concentrate fire on the Kinburn. That is our primary threat. And we'll see if I can get these CVLs in against the carrier, or the cruisers against the carrier. There we go, that's the right words. All right, chase them down. Imponderable is out of main ammunition. Okay, how's Impassable doing? Well, it's holding steady at five. We're almost out of structure, which is not good. All right, and let's keep going this way. And here comes the sunset. Let's see what do we have down this way. We've got two destroyers, Fire Drake and Oriana, and then the Staunch and the Lewis. Let's see, how's Staunch doing? Damaged and essentially not mobile. How's Oriana? Well, a little bit of propulsion damage, but otherwise good. How's Fire Drake? Lightly damaged, but otherwise doing pretty good. Okay. I want to know what these are. Okay, keep going. I know the battle cruiser doesn't have ammu any ammunition, but the destroyers supporting her do. 
That's Ferg Lost, medium damage on fire. Good. Are you guys going after that destroyer? Good. Good, good, good. Do we have any hits on? Yep, we're getting plenty of hits on that Kinburn class. Let's turn the battle uh, the battleship line towards her. And lost sight. Hopefully we regain radar locks. In fact, let's actually turn straight towards. Well, looks like we're starting to get things under control on the impassable. Whatever these are, they're running. So I'm not too worried about it then. Let's turn back towards these carriers and make sure they do not get away. Oh, come on. <sighs> keep rolling, keep rolling. We'll chase these things down. Hang on, what do we got there? Oriana, why did you fire torpedoes at that? That's a terrible shot. Manual control, hold fire. I want you to actually know what it is you're shooting at. Manual control, hold fire. Let's start reforming these ships into some semblance of a formation. Do we have eyes on a target? That should still be the heavy cruiser. The battle cruiser is further north. There we go. 18 Bristol, both as approaching ships. Okay. That is fine. Enemy battleship hit by torpedo. Huh. That doesn't look like a battleship. That might be a cruiser. All right, Oriana, turn yourself around. I think we've got that Kinburn pretty well under control. Destroyer Iskusni. Ah, nice shooting there. All right, that's out of the fight. We still got this Sverdlovsk class, but I think our light cruisers have that pretty well under control. Let's see if we can run down the remainder of this force. Enemy Marshal Voroshilov, hit by torpedo, good shooting. One more double check on the impassable. Looks like we're finally getting it under control, down to level two fires. Good. And there's another hit. Whew, oh man. Full auto fire. <laughs> Fires 11 six inch guns at the spread lost 24 hits. Oh my. And then same thing out of the Asagai. Wow. Well, that's those uh, auto loaders for you. They have an insane rate of fire 2.22 per gun. Oh yeah, nice. I am pretty happy with that. I'm pretty sure that spread lost is done. She is D-E-D -E -D dead. All right, we still got the Baku class carrier. Oh, come on. Is anybody shooting at her? Okay, Oriana is not. What about the fire drake here? Come on. Are you targeting something? Unidentified ship. Hmm. Um. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, there's the Oriana. Where's the Fire Drake? She should be listed as an independent ship. And I'm not seeing it. Oh, no, no, no. She's under her name. Okay. Great Britain Destroyer Division 15. There we go. And she's targeting not the right thing. So let's see if we can change that. Status. Target the Baku. There we go. And you know what? 
Launching is authorized. And there we go, that's the launch that I was looking for. That should finish her off. We've got a light cruiser Vesta class down here. That's not good. So we're gonna have to try and keep the range open a little bit. How's impassable, still burning. Uh, we are essentially out of structure on the impassable. Hopefully that means there's not much left to burn. And if that's why we're running out, then well, I'll take it. Not as though I have a whole lot of choice. And looks like they are dumping torpedoes into the carriers. We're gonna take a quick evasive action to make sure that I don't run into our own torpedoes that went under. Destroy our own slow hit by torpedo. Well, that was foolish. Looks like she ran into her own torpedo. There we go. Marshal Voroshilov hit. Anything else? Looks like we're coming up on the end of the battle here. Should mostly just be a battle, a uh, effort to wrap all this stuff up. Okay, we still got one light cruiser. That's not doing a whole lot. Okay, Oriana, let's see about targeting the Vesta class. There we go. And hopefully we've got some, let's see. Do you have functional radar? Yes. Okay, so you should still be able to blind fire against the Vesta. What about Fire Drake? Looking good. What about staunch? We're gonna take manual control over you. And well, she's already going as fast as she can. Let's see about bringing her into the fight too. And then, is there anything else we can do? I want the remainder of those ships sunk. Okay, and all of these reports are starting to get in the way. So we're gonna grab all these older reports and we're gonna clear them out. There we go, much simpler. Now I can actually see what's active and what isn't. Alrighty. White cruisers are doing good work here against whatever that thing is. See if we can keep it in range. Maybe. Looks like uh, our destroyers are starting to run low on ammunition. Well, that's fine. We're just gonna keep on pushing. Once we sink these things, that should be about it. Glorious, what are you doing all the way over here? All by yourself. That is very, very risky. Do we have any forces that we can assign to protect the Glorious? Let's see, those are all screening the Humungulus. And not doing a very good job of it, I might add, since Humungulus is over here. Do I have any ships that I can assign to protect the Glorious? Glorious. Support. Okay. Get thine happy butt over there. Turn them all back in. Light cruisers are doing just fine. Okay, I think we've got this pretty well done. Oop, Humungulus takes a torpedo and shrugs it right off. Well, whatever that was, 
I didn't do too much. We're going to reduce down to cruising speed. Heck, we're going to go down to 10 knots because I think that's good enough. And we're going to dodge over this way. Hang on, Katana just took some hefty hits. From that thing, whatever that is. Okay, keep rolling. Hopefully our destroyers are able to engage that unidentified ship. And it looks like the Vesta is on fire and burning. Good. And then we randomly lose identification on her. Ooh, that's a good looking torpedo. At least it was a good looking torpedo. Swing everyone back around. Anything else? How's Impassable doing? Has she got everything out? Looks like... There we go. Fire's extinguished. 1751. Sweet. Okay. Let's get the Impassable back up to speed. So we're going to go no more than 10 knots. Just to be on the safe side. And looks like that light cruiser is in trouble good let's see if we can grab that last ship right here and then we can circle the wagons and finish this battle enemy CL hit by torpedo good shooting Granted, she was already sinking, but far be it from me to object when we've got easy torpedo reloads available for almost all of our ships. Keep rolling, guys. Keep rolling. And whatever that thing is, it is taking hits. Dakar is down to 20% ammunition. Now we just need them all to open fire. There we go. Katana is out of main ammunition. Whoops. Looks like Dakar is running low on main ammunition as well. I only see a few turrets pointing that direction. Holding fire, uncertain identity. Oh, whatever it is, is putting up a heck of a fight. Not so much from a gunfire perspective, but from a... It's not done yet. It hasn't gone down, which is pretty impressive, all things considered. Given how many ships we have chasing. Mostly just due to the lack of identification, though. There we go. Hang on. Triumphant opens fire. What are you firing at? A cruiser? Alright, we'll put you guys back on AI control so you rejoin the force. What do we got here? Battlecruiser impassable. We'll turn that around. Let's see, anything else? Let's turn the battleships to the south east so we can join in the main fight. And this carrier group, we're going to reduce to cruising speed and turn them north. And whatever it is, we're going to encounter it.
Okay, it stopped. Now I'm just going to do a close pass. Okay. And of course it's not recognizing the target. Corvette. Oh, there we go. Launching torpedoes there. Can you guys launch? Oh, come on. Nope. No identified targets yet. So we'll just pass close by. Still nothing. We'll drop down to cruise, drop down to cruise. Still nothing. Well, hopefully those destroyers at least finish it. Ah, there we go. Okay, Oracle already out of torpedoes. Narwhal launches at a terrible angle and totally misses. Good shooting, fellows. Good shooting. Okay, we're going to put all of these ships back on AI control. Oh, hang on. Carry Division 6, that's the main lead division. So no, we don't want that on AI control. That'll be bad. But we can put these cruisers back on AI control. And let's see. Fire Drake, AI control. Oriana, AI control. Staunch, AI control. Inconsiderable, how's she do? Looks like things are mostly under control there. Four flooding, not great. So we're going to reduce speed a little more. And at this point, it should just be a matter of running till the end. And that destroyer should not last a whole lot longer now. All right, now we're just waiting. There we go, we put a torpedo into her. And as soon as she down, that should be the end of the fight. Wow, we're already 140 minutes over the battle time. It's just a matter of waiting for the ship to go down. Is she down yet? Okay, that's down. So what's holding us up? All right, I'll crank up the game speed, and there we go. Oh no! Destroyer torpedoed by a submarine. Ugh. All right, let's see. So, overall results, not bad, not bad. All right, we lost one cruiser and one destroyer, and we had a pretty hefty damage spread across our battle cruisers. That's not great, but we sank their battleship, we sank their battle cruiser, we sank every single one of their uh, aircraft carriers, almost all of their heavy cruisers. Wow, they brought a whole 10 cruisers to the fray, both light cruisers and a uh, little less than half of their destroyers and their entire invasion force. Not a bad fight, if I do say so myself. But we're coming up on the 50 minute mark, so I'm going to save the in-depth analysis of this battle for the next episode. Until then, this is Katori87, signing out.